What a turnaround today. It was 22 this morning in Blunt County, just outside Aniana. 24 at Gadsden's Airport, Jasper 27, Birmingham 28. It was a cold start, but a really nice afternoon. And that was the view from Lunker Lake up at Oak Mountain State Park from David Graves. Uh, a little fishing out there on the lake today. Don't know how good the fishing was, but the weather was pretty good. We're at 61 in Birmingham, 62 in Alabaster at the Shelby County Airport. Sylacauga is at 58. We're at 55 in Coleman right now, 62 in Tuscaloosa tonight. A fair sky dropping through the 40s before midnight and then getting to around 40 to 41 in Birmingham tomorrow morning. Some of the usual cold pockets are going to hit the 30s at least one more time before the warmer air really starts to take over on Friday. We'll jump to 66 degrees tomorrow afternoon. So Vestavia around 41 on Shades Mountain tomorrow morning, but West Blockton at 39, Welty around 36, Ashland at 37, Carrollton in Pickens County right around 39. And then tomorrow afternoon, we might have a spot or two inching close to 70 around Tuscaloosa County, uh, Greene County or Hale County. I still think it's mid 60s around Blunt, Etowah and the north of there, especially in the higher elevations. Rain is on the way, but not for the next two days. Friday and Saturday, really good weather. Sunday, kind of crummy weather, although we could still use the rain. We're moving out of the drought conditions, but eh, we need some to make sure that we continue moving away from the drought and then rain will be tapering off by Monday. So here's your weekend outlook. We're in the 60s on Saturday. Really nice, but clouds are increasing. Sunday is overcast, breezy and chilly. And by Sunday night and Monday morning, most of us around the Birmingham metro area have at least one half to one inch of rain. Some are going to get more and the greater chance of more than an inch is mainly southwest of the Birmingham area. And that storm system is still on the west coast today. And boy, it has been pounding California. Now it's starting to move farther to the east, and that's going to set up the wet weather for us going into the weekend. Tomorrow, Groundhog Day, thinking shadows around here, probably not up in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. We get the rain on Monday, then it's mild again for a while. So what's the deal here? Well, the pattern's going to shift again. The jet stream gets back into that position that it was a few weeks ago and Arctic air is going to start coming south again mid February. So we've got about a week and a half here where the weather looks really nice, but then it's going to get cold again. Brittany. All right, Jason, thank you. So